What is going on, everyone? Welcome back to another Bracketology episode with yours truly, Quincy Bell. These videos have been popping off. Uh, someone mentioned that it was just like 2018 when all my NFL picks would get like 5,000 views a week. Um, you guys clearly seem to love these videos, so we're going to make it a Monday tradition from now until the tournament. Every Monday, uh, we will have a new Bracketology video, and then the Monday after Selection Sunday will be the official bracket. That's when it really gets fun. So we have four brackets once again. Wellman is not here, so we're going to have Vince just go ahead and rip his bracket to shreds because it's terrible like last time. Um, we actually have another one we can look at. It's I made a bracketology that basically anyone could go in and edit. And basically, so it's, it's a bracketology. It's Anyone can go in there and edit. I'll post the link in the description if you want to go edit some of it. But... It's basically where you could just move around the teams wherever you want. And it was like a giant mess at one point. Like, I think UMBC was a one seed at one point. I mean, it was bad. It was just someone put Mississippi Valley State as their champion. But eventually, like, certain people just go in and change everything. So the person that changed everything last, um, we'll get to see what they put for the subscriber one. So anyway, let's get into my bracket. One seed, stay the same, Gonzaga. Actually, they don't stay the same. Gonzaga, Baylor, and Michigan stay the same because Michigan went out and beat uh, – they went out and beat Ohio State. I dropped Ohio State to a two and moved Illinois up to a one. reason being is because they have a better conference record. That's basically the only reason why. They're basically the same team. And they go in a little bit better, so they move up to the one line. Two seeds are Villanova – uh, Ohio State, Alabama, and Florida State on Monday, the day the last bracketology was released. They went out and wiped the floor with Virginia. Virginia didn't stand a chance in that game. They were all over them. In case you're wondering about Virginia, I have them down to a four. Other fours include Texas Tech, Kansas, who just beat the aforementioned Texas Tech, and Texas, who went out and blew a 19-point lead to West Virginia in terrible fashion. Not looking good for the Longhorns as of now. Three seeds are the aforementioned West Virginia, Iowa, who's been got who they're kind of back on track. Oklahoma and Houston, who lost to Wichita State, who I now have in the bracketology as a 10. Five seeds are Wisconsin, Creighton, uh, Virginia Tech, and USC. Tennessee dropped quite a bit. They lost to Kentucky, a bad Kentucky team. Mizzou, they kind of just keep falling. I'm not really high on the Mizzou train. I haven't been all season. Uh, Boise State, I took them out for no good reason last time. They're back in. UNC's got like an 80-point win over Louisville. They just absolutely wiped the floor with them. Um, and most uh, most everyone else sort of stayed the same with some slight changes here and there. So I'm going to quickly go over the first round. Take it, Zaga. It's like VCU, they're number one in the A-10. They're 16-5. and five. They're beating some pretty good teams. The A-10 is looking a lot better. Um, the A-10 is currently VCU, St. Bonaventure, St. Louis, and Richmond. I have St. Louis and Richmond out. The Bonnies, who picked up a good win over Davidson, have the Bonnies and VCU currently in. Wisconsin, not much change with them. Uh, but I have Santa Barbara. They keep playing really well. I like Santa Barbara's chances over any five or six seed. I'll have them winning this one. Take Texas Tech over Western. Uh, Seen Hall, new to the bracketology. I, I replaced them over St. John's because St. John's lost to – they lost to DePaul. DePaul is terrible. So I put Seen Hall in over them. Take Mizzou. Take Iowa over Greensboro. Take Oregon over Xavier. Alabama over Liberty. Take Michigan over UMBC. I'll take LSU over Clemson. USC over Belmont. Belmont's like 26-1, and one, but they don't – I haven't played a single quad two team, let alone a quad one team. A little concerning. Take USC. Texas over Colgate. Arkansas over that play in between Rutgers and Utah State. Um, I think uh, Utah State is a really good defense. Rutgers are kind of all over the place. They're super off and on. I'm more low on Rutgers than most people. Take Houston over Wright State. Maryland. A bunch of Maryland fans have been campaigning for them to get into the bracketology, and they have replaced Indiana, who had a poor showing against Michigan State. So Maryland is new in, but they're not going to be BYU. I'll take Florida State over Texas State. I'll take Baylor. I'll take Drake over UConn. 
Um, actually, one of Drake's best players is out for the year with a foot injury. Someone let me know that. So, actually, I'm going to switch my pick and take UConn. I always screw up the 8-9s. Last March Madness, I got every 8-9 matchup wrong. Okay, take the Bonnies. They shot the three really well against Dayton. and I'm not Dayton, Davidson. And I really think that they're a dangerous team. Love me some Bonnies. Take Virginia over one. Virginia looked bad, and they, they lost to Duke, too. They also lost to Duke, a bad Duke team. So I'm not very high on Virginia. I think they'll beat Winthrop, though. But Bonnies are cutting them off in the next round. Take Tennessee over Colorado. West Virginia over North Dakota State. San Diego State over Wichita State. San Diego State is ranked. They're high in a lot of metrics. Ohio State over James Madison. We'll take Illinois over Grand Canyon. UNC, Toledo over Virginia Tech. Ken Palm does not like Virginia Tech. Neither do a lot of underlying metrics. I think they might be a little bit overrated. I think Toledo. They're also really good in offensive efficiency. Kansas over North Texas. Take Purdue over the play-in. Oklahoma over Southern Utah. Loyola Chicago over Florida. That is an easy decision. Easy. Um, and then Villanova over Abilene Christian. Moving on. Uh, VCU ranks high in defensive efficiency, and they sometimes they play this press. Maybe they give Gonzaga problems, but I doubt it. Take uh, t- by the way, I took three of the four 12 seeds. Take t- t- Texas Tech over Santa Barbara, Iowa over Mizzou, Alabama over o- over Oregon. The reason I like Alabama quite a lot is because they are ranked first or second in defensive efficiency up there with Loyola, and they shoot the three really well. They can get fought if they catch fire from three, no one beats this team. Like, they can score 100. Like, if they can catch fire from three, they can beat any team in the country with how good their defense is. When they catch fire from three, they're the best team in the country. And then if they kind of shoot cold from three, they, like, almost lose to Kentucky. Michigan over LSU. Texas, I I originally was going to take USC, but then they lose to Stanford. They lost to someone not so great. So, I'll take Texas. Arkansas, they continue to impress me. Um, 17 to 5, impressive resume, good efficiency. They could definitely be Houston. Take Florida State over BYU. Take Baylor. Like I said, the Bonnies, Virginia not looking very good right now. The Bonnies could shoot the three really well. They're making the Sweet 16. I'll take West Virginia. Take Ohio State. Uh, Illinois. Take Toledo over Kansas. Toledo, really good in the offensive efficiency. I've been high on them. Give me the Rockets. I'll take Purdue. Purdue's actually up there in efficiency. And I feel like they're very much an under-the-radar team. People are going to look over. So give me the Boilermakers over Oklahoma. And Loyola over Villanova. Villanova is a heavily overrated team, in my opinion. Loyola, number one in defensive efficiency. They win games with their defense. They don't allow more than 60 points. They, they can, I mean, Igor, I mean, Ahir I, I Uguak, stud. Give me Loyola. Sweet 16 time. Take Gonzaga over Texas Tech. Texas Tech not looking so great. They play Oklahoma State tonight, which, by the way, I'm not going to have Oklahoma State in my bracket until I get confirmation that they can make the tournament, right? Because as of now, they can't. They have a tournament ban. But they have an appeal day, and they might they might make it. But as of now, they're not in. Texas Tech plays them tonight. I think it's that good. Take Alabama, like I said earlier, over Iowa. I was third in total efficiency. My problem with them is they're like 120th in defense. In defense, you have to have a team that can do both, in my opinion. So, give me Bama. Um, I'll take Michigan over Texas, uh, and I'll take Florida State over Arky. Give me Baylor over the Bonnies. Ohio State over West Virginia. Ohio State really has been looking like a complete team. I know they lost to Michigan, but they looked really good in that game. One question mark could be their defense. They're sort of like Iowa, but I think with better defense. Iowa has a better offense by like a little bit. I, Ohio State is a way better defense. They look like a very complete team. They can easily make the Elite Eight. Illinois over Toledo. That's a pretty easy one. And then I'll take Loyola over Purdue. Final four time. Gonzaga over Bama. Like I said, if Alabama plays perfect and catch fire from three, they can beat Gonzaga. But I'm, 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 I'll take the Zags. Taking Florida State over Michigan. Just because I don't want to pick all one seeds. Um, I know this is kind of a chalky bracket. I tried to find some upsets in there. Florida State, the way they play, they use their entire bench. I'm I, I'm on the train one last time. I always pick Florida State to make a deep run, but this is my last year. They don't do anything this year. I'm, I'm done picking Florida State to make a deep run, but I'm back on the Leonard Hamilton train. Give me the Knowles. Take Illinois over Loyola in this Illinois matchup. I just think Io DeSumo's catching fire. Trent Frazier hit a half-court shot at the end against Minnesota, who, if you didn't notice, is not in the bracketology anymore. They've been taking some tough losses. 
Um, they got road graded by Illinois, and you don't win at Minnesota. It's a hard place to win, and Illinois, like Michigan, got killed when they went to play Minnesota. And Illinois absolutely wiped the floor with them. They're looking like a complete team. I think they're the third best team in the country, third or fourth best team in the country compared to Michigan. I right. maybe they're better than Michigan, maybe they're not. And then we're taking Baylor over Ohio State now. I've had a Gonzaga Baylor national championship in basically every matchup. Early in the early early on in the year, I picked Gonzaga every time. Baylor showed me some stuff to where I was like, all right, I'm gonna take Baylor. I took Baylor for a while. I'm going back to Gonzaga, and the reason why is if we take a look at Ken Palm really quickly. Gonzaga ranks second in offense and fourth in defense. Gonzaga was they were like 20s in defense. They were really up their defense. And Baylor, they were third and third. Now they're fourth and sixth. Gonzaga is passing them in these underlying metrics. So that's why I have the Zags taking home the chip in 2021. But now we're going to go over and see what Murray has to say. Let me set up OBS really quickly. Okay, it looks like we're actually... Okay, looks like we're good. Murray, take it away. All right. So one seed sort of stay the same. Um, we're going to have Gonzaga, Michigan, and Baylor. But the one seed I did change is Virginia. They'll get out of the four. And replacing them by a slim margin is Ohio State. Um, we're just going to go on the matchups. I'm not going to go too far into the seeds here. Um, I have Gonzaga keeping over the same 16 seed playing. Hold on. This 8-9 is uh, interesting. I know you love BYU. So as a Florida fan, was this yeah. was this some serious pain or – no, not really. Um, it's usually a good matchup. But Ray loves B. He's a diehard Florida fan, but he loves BYU. Exactly. I like BYU. He loves BYU. Okay, so anyway, I have Florida taking out uh, BYU in the 8-9. Uh, Tennessee is kind of weird for me. Um, Here are two teams Murray hates. I know. I don't want to do that, but I had really long your choice. And I still have Tennessee taking out Oregon because, you know, you don't choose Pac-12 teams in the tournament. They're not good at anything. Uh, we have the four seed Crane taking out thirteen Minnesota. Um, this is interesting. You have, you have St. Louis as a six. I don't even have them in my tournament. Yeah, I have them beating Boise State 11, six, 11. <laughs> Three seed uh, Texas taking out fourteen seeded UC Santa Barbara. St. Bonaventure over seven seeded North Carolina. I did move Florida State up as much as I didn't want to. I moved him up to a two seed. This took some serious. Um, so when I tell you this took some serious campaigning, he was like, "Uh, who am I gonna have as a two seed?" Because he had Illinois super low, and he had Florida. This is he hates both these teams. And he's like, "No," they're, they're, and then we, he eventually just caved. I had them taking out Grand Canyon. Uh, the second half of the left side of the bracket, I have Michigan taking out Colgate again. My eight nine seed right here changed. I have uh, UConn as the nine seed taking out Colorado. Um, because you don't pick Pac-12 teams, kids. Don't do it. It's not worth it. It will hurt your bracket. <laughs> uh, I have Virginia Tech taking out Liberty. Again, another, I still wanted to do this. Uh, Wright State losing to the four seed of West Virginia. Uh, the 11th, the 11th seed play-in did change. I took out Indiana. I replaced them with Seton Hall. They're going to play LSU. But UCLA would beat either, either one of these. I did pick Pac-12 team there. That's, a, that's as far as we're going. Uh, Alabama, I was the tempted on putting them to a two seed. I don't know because the only reason I did is because Oklahoma beat them. So no, I feel like I feel like Alabama is better than Florida State, but it's, good. <sighs> it's close. I do have them taking out Bryant. Uh, the Drake Utah State matchup stays the same with the ten seven, and then Oklahoma stays the same. Uh, the top right, I have Baylor taking taking out the same play in team. Uh, the 8-9 matchup, the 9 seed did change. I forgot who I had there, but I did move Wisconsin to a 9 seed. Uh, but Louisville would beat them. Uh, my Belmont pick is not changing, just the 5 seed. Belmont would take out uh, USC in the 12-5. Uh, here is the heartbreaker. Virginia to the 4 seed, but they would beat Western Kentucky. I did move Purdue up a little bit to a 6 seed. Yes, see. And they would... Have I feel like they would have some problems with Toledo, but they get the job done. Uh, Iowa State the same, and they're playing, they're take out UNBC. Missouri took a big tumble. They fell down to a seven seed playing Rutgers, but Missouri would win. And then 
Illinois, yeah, I didn't want to cave in, but I had to. I'm going to do a two seed, and they would beat Northeastern. You guys hear that? Hold on. It's it's silence because uh, the Illinois slander is gone. Uh, to the, the main, side, the right the side of the bracket. Ohio State, the new one seed by a slim margin. Just because a slim margin over Texas State? No, as the one seed. Oh, okay. They would they would run over Texas State. <laughs> Wait, what? The more and more I see your bag, the more and more I see how many teams you hate. Okay. It's okay. Teams Marie hates Illinois, the entire Pac-12, Pac-12's a joke. Florida State. <laughs> <laughs> it's just, it's a lot. Anyway, uh, your AAC conference leader, Wichita State Shockers, has this eight seed taking out nine seed at San Diego State. Uh, the five twelve matchup stays the same. VCU over Kansas. I did move up Winthrop. I switched them with uh, South Dakota State. Really didn't change much, but it wouldn't matter because Texas Tech would run over Winthrop. Okay, so the six seed stays the same with Arkansas, but the eleven seed play and changes. I took out who'd I have there? Um, St. John's and Oklahoma State. I replaced them with Maryland and Colorado State. Did you just take Oklahoma State out? Yeah. Okay. I rep- I completely changed that matchup, and I would have Arkansas taking out probably Maryland. Uh, Houston over uh, South Dakota State. I did cave in, and I switched with my Loyola pick. They would beat Xavier, and then going over USC Greensboro. Second round matchups, we have uh, Gonzaga over Florida. I know, yeah. Murder. Absolute murder. It wouldn't be a murder. It, they would murder you. I do have Creighton over Tennessee pretty, pretty handily. Oh. Uh, the end of the road for St. Louis, they would fall to Texas in the 6 3 matchup in the second round. Uh, St. Bonaventure loses to a two seed at Florida State. Second half, UConn and Michigan, Michigan soundly. Uh, the Virginia Tech for West Virginia matchup stayed the same. I have West Virginia. Alabama and UCLA stayed the same. Alabama. And then Drake, Oklahoma stayed the same. Oklahoma. Uh, top right, let's see. Um, I have Baylor and Louisville that stayed the same. Baylor, Belmont, and Virginia. I have Belmont. Virginia is sticking up the joint. That's a yeah, good and I, pick. Belmont is actually a solid team. So I would Belmont. Look out for Belmont in the tournament this year. Um, Purdue and Iowa. Ew, conference matchup. Iowa Ew. would win. Sorry, Vince. Uh, Missouri and Illinois, as much as I want to pick the upside here, I had to go Illinois. Yeah, Missouri beat Illinois, like, early, early. I know, but now Missouri plays, like, a Division two team now, so. <laughs> okay. Um, let's see. Ohio State and Wichita State, much as I didn't want to, had to pick Ohio State. And then Texas Tech and VCU, Texas Tech or, would win that game. I have Arkansas beating Houston. I do, too, so. Arkansas, okay, so Houston is a good team, yes. But Arkansas plays with a chemistry I have not seen in a very long time, my, especially recently. My problem That's with eight. Houston, too, is they've beaten some good teams. They thrashed Cincinnati. So they they lost to East Carolina, who's a terrible team. Sorry, Redbirds, they're awful. It would be a close game, but I feel like Arkansas could. And they, they lost to like Tulsa, and I don't know. They've been losing some teams they shouldn't have. I like I like the way Arkansas is playing, so I like and that then pick. Going over for Loyola. No, Loyola would win. Uh, no. Okay. All right. Third round matchups we would have uh, Gonzaga over Creighton, um, Florida State over Texas. I originally had Texas, but then I realized that uh, you know Texas is. Not that great. <laughs> Florida State is the real deal. Oh, of course, it's yeah, not that baby. good, but they just gave lucky. Oh, point. yeah. Can't wait to be called a classic Florida State fan in the comments. You are. Uh, second half, Florida we have State. Michigan oh. over West Virginia. And then uh, Oklahoma over Alabama. Right side, I have um, Baylor over Belmont. Boom. Um, Illinois over Iowa. I was close on picking Iowa. Too but then Quincy. Raids on people with the defensive efficiency rankings, and I didn't want to get thrashed for that. So, <laughs> Illinois by not much. 
Two straight conference um, matches. We're gonna have to fix that for next time. Another close matchup here. I didn't really want to have a big ball team in there, so I did take Ohio State. Has been. And then um, the end of the ride for Arkansas, they would fall to Villanova. Okay, final four time. Um, let's see. I have. Okay, so as much as I did, as much as I wanted to pick Gonzaga here, I didn't want to have all one seeds. So I did go with Florida State. As much Doesn't as want all to. one seeds, so he takes out the best ones. And then uh, let's see. I have Michigan over Oklahoma. That one didn't change. Baylor over Illinois. Illinois would not make it past Baylor. Baylor beat him in the regular season, too. Yeah, and then Ohio State over Villanova. Final four, Michigan and Florida State. Michigan would win, like, by 30. And then Baylor, Ohio Baylor. State. Baylor and Michigan beats Baylor in the national championship. Why Why? you why, why like Michigan? I, they're, they're good. As much as I don't like Michigan as, like, a college you fan, like but, like, Michigan. this team is No, no you solid. like Michigan. Uh, they, they you definitely a like win Michigan. Over, what was Ohio State four? Yeah. At the time? That was really good. I picked Michigan. That, and right. they did it on the road, too. Yeah. Okay. So, you know, I like Michigan. Purdue beat them on the road, too. Okay. Purdue beat them at home and on the road. Let's see what Vince has to say. Let me set this up real quick. Okay. Take it away, Vince. All right, so I'm only going to go over the one through four seeds. Uh, my one seeds are Gonzaga, Bailey, Michigan, and I'm keeping Ohio State as a one seed because, I don't know, I just feel like Ohio State is better than the rest of the field. I don't feel like they, I think they're better than Illinois, even though right now I would Illinois would get the one seed over them. I do think by the end of the year, Ohio State will have their one seed back. So I kept them as a one seed. My two seeds are Alabama, Illinois, uh, Oklahoma, and I put Villanova in as a two seed because the Houston loss took them out of a two seed. So I put Villanova into a two seed. My three seeds, I moved Florida State up to a three, Houston down to a three. Uh, I put West Virginia has become a three um, now. I think they've been... uh, They've been, they struggled for a little bit, but now they're starting to regroup and come back together and they're a good team when they uh, work together. Um, I am Iowa is a three seed. My four seeds, I know Quincy's comment section is going to like this because I put Creighton as a four seed. Creighton has shown a lot. People like, people weeks. were not liking the Creighton slander in last video. Yeah. Um, so I moved Creighton up to a four seed. They've been showing me a lot lately, and I just I think I think they'll uh, make a run in the tournament. Uh, Kansas. Uh, last week I said Kansas isn't as good as uh, what I thought they were. Um, they definitely these past uh, the past, this past week has shown me to eat my words. Um, they are still just as good as what they normally are, so i putting them up to a four, and honestly, by the end of the year, they might even be higher than that. Um, my other four seeds are Texas and Virginia Tech, and then I'll go through my matchups now. I have Gonzaga in over the plan. Itty bitty Southern Utah logo. Itty bitty. Yeah, well, I saw your organization of a team, like I said. Oh, oh yeah, Vince, oh, by the way, he hates Southern Utah. <laughs> He's always like, oh, they're so bad. Um, I have Louisville over Drake. I kept the same 8-9. Um, I have Virginia beating Belmont. I don't – I Belmont's a good team, and I don't like Virginia, and I, I think they just aren't as good as what they have been. But I do think Virginia will end up pulling off a win because Virginia pulls off these – Miracle wins every once in a while, and then we'll lose to a very bad team. And then, team. And then they give up miracle wins to human beings. It's just how they work. There's some games where they end up working together and just dominating, and then there's some games in which they just they're like, "Who? What is this team?" Um, at Kansas over Santa Barbara, I have Colorado State over Missouri. I 
And I, I was going to say, I said it last week, and I'm going to say it again. I do not, these past few weeks, Missouri is just not looking good. And I think Colorado State will pull off the upset. Um, I have Iowa beating North Dakota State. I have Rutgers beating Colorado. Um, Rutgers pretty soon. I mean, Rutgers is a good team, but I don't know if they'll be in my back end in the next upcoming weeks. They're hanging on the edge. Yeah. Um, I have Alabama over UMBC. And then the bottom half, I have Ohio State, Florida over North Carolina, uh, USC over Seton Hall. USC lost very badly. I do think they are still a good team, but and I do think Seton Hall will give them a run for their money, but I do have USC pulling out the win. I have Virginia Tech beating Liberty. Uh, Wisconsin beating the play-in of Maryland. I added Maryland to my bracket. I do think they will barely make it in. And then I have Oklahoma State as an 11 seed because I'm keeping them as an 11 seed because I do think they will get their tournament ban. Like, just I don't. I think they will end up getting their way into the tournament. Um, but I have to keep them as an 11 seed right now. If they do get into the tournament, I will put them up as probably a six or even a five because they are a very good team. Um, but right now, I got to keep them as an 11. Um, I have Florida State over Winthrop, VCU beating uh, San Diego State. I do not like San Diego State. I said I oh, yeah. Quincy Coast. Southern Utah and San Diego State are the teams he hates. Um, I have Oklahoma over Evelyn Christian. The top half, I have Bailey beating the play-in, Purdue beating Utah State, Texas Tech beating the Bonnies, Creighton beating Colgate. I have Toledo beating Tennessee. The reason behind that is Toledo. I think there's always a there's always a double digit seed that will make the Sweet 16. That's just how brackets have always been. And I do think Toledo will be that team because their offense is really really good. And Tennessee, in my opinion, is just they're a good team. They're a really good team, but I do think Toledo will pull this it off. W- this game would be interesting because Tennessee is extremely high in defense. Toledo is extremely high in offense. And they both lack in the other category. So. Yeah. But I do think Toledo's offense will get it done. Uh, I have West Virginia over North Texas. BYU beating Oregon. Um, BYU, in my opinion, is very underrated. I feel like nobody talks about them, but they still are. They're a very good team. I think their best um, thing this season is, hey, we only lost to Gonzaga by, like, 20. Yeah. Yeah, so BYU... It's a team. <laughs> they, BYU is just underrated, in my opinion. I do not see them going anywhere past the round of 32, though. Um, but I do think they will get a win over Oregon. Um, Illinois over Cleveland State. And then I have Michigan... Uh, I've saved it being Clemson, even though I really wanted to pick Clemson. I like Clemson, but I do have to pick Xavier. I do think Xavier is the better team. Uh, Arkansas over UConn. Arkansas has shown me a lot recently, and I I think they'll get that win. Uh, Texas over Gainesville. I have Loyola over the play in Houston, who I moved again to a three seed, beating Siena. I added Wichita State to my bracket. Go uh, up. They they have proved that they uh, are going they to be in the tournament, and I do have them getting an upset win over UCLA. Go uh, down. And then I have Villanova. So second round, I have Gonzaga beating Louisville. I do not think that game will be close. Gonzaga will destroy them. Louisville's not very good. Uh, I Kansas over Virginia. Like I said earlier, Virginia is one of those teams who is very off and on, and I do think uh, Kansas will get that win. Um, I have Iowa beating Colorado State. Colorado State could be one of those teams who can get in the Sweet 16, but I do not think they will be the ones, the double-digit seed who gets in. I do not think they can keep up with Iowa, so I will end up taking Iowa. Um, I have Alabama beating Rutgers. 
uh, Ohio State being Florida, uh, USC being Virginia Tech. That'll be a very good game. Um, but I do have USC getting the win there. Uh, I have Florida State over Wisconsin. I do think that'll be an underrated game. Um, but I do have Florida State coming out. And like Quincy said earlier, Florida State is one of those teams who always is promising and then will lose in like the first or second round. And then um, when they're like a nine seed, they make the elite. Yeah. Yeah. They, so I'm I, I'm going with Florida State. Uh, Oklahoma over VCU. In the top uh, right, I have... BYU beating Purdue, which is very saddening to say, but I have BYU beating Purdue. And Baylor. Um, oh, yeah, Baylor, I mean. Um, Creighton over Texas Tech. Uh, Creighton, I do think, will end up pulling out the win there. I think Creighton is a very good team. I do I do like Mac McClung, but Creighton, will, in my opinion, will get the win there. And then Toledo beating... Uh, West Virginia, I like I said, uh, Toledo will be that, in my opinion, that 11 seed who does make the Sweet 16. Um, and their offense is, again, really good. Um, Illinois will beat BYU. And then Michigan. I got some slander last week for picking U- USC over Michigan. Don't worry. This time I have Michigan in the final four. So, Michigan beating Xavier. Uh, Texas beating Arkansas. That'll be a really good game, but I do have Texas pulling it out. Um, Quincy doesn't like this, but I do have Houston beating Loyola. Ooh. I don't see Loyola getting past the second round. You were you were with me on Loyola, and then you just you just jump ship. Yeah, no, I do. <laughs> I don't see Houston, I don't see Loyola making it anyways past the second round. Um, and then Villanova beating the Shockies. Um, to get into the lead eight, I have Gonzaga beating Kansas. Iowa, that'll be a really good game, Iowa and Alabama, but I do have Iowa pulling it out. Um, I have Ohio State over USC and Florida State over Oklahoma. That'll, again, that'll be a really good game. Um, but I do have Florida State. Um, and then on the top half, I have Baylor beating Creighton, Illinois beating Toledo, Michigan beating Texas, and Houston beating uh, Villanova. Houston lost, but I do think they're still a very good team. Um, they'll end up getting the win there. And then they get in the final four. I have Gonzaga beating Iowa. Um... I have Florida State beating Ohio State. Um, I got them all. I got, I got everyone on the Florida State train. Mm, all the no, board, I, first off, I was the first one to put Florida State in my final Cow. four. Cow. I'm still not even on this train. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Who has them in the final? Yeah, you do. Good job. I was the first one to put him in the final four. <laughs> but okay. Um, I barely over Illinois um, <clears throat> and Michigan over Houston. Final four games will be Gonzaga, Florida State, and Bailey and Michigan. I do think Gonzaga will pull off a win against uh, Florida State. And I do, I 100% believe Michigan can beat Bailey, but I do have Bailey pulling it out. And then I have Gonzaga beating uh, Bailey because just Gonzaga just looks unstoppable, and I can't pick against them. And I know they're gonna, they watch. They're gonna lose just because I said that. Um, my main problem with good, so I, I switched. You had Baylor last time, and you switch. I switched too. My main problem with Gonzaga is you almost lost to Pacific. Okay, so that, that's everyone. We're gonna go to Wellman's actually real quick. I'm gonna. Read this. We're just gonna quickly just flame it. So, he also has Michigan winning it all like Murray, which is, ugh, that's just nasty. Let me read this. I want to read this. It's funny. What are you reading? The bracket. Okay, here. We're all going to do it. Okay. For, okay this for, is funny. For starter, okay, Minnesota too high. Houston too low. Uh, Cle- yes, Cleveland State? State. Cle- bro, Cleveland State as an 11? Really? Yes, 
Oklahoma State going to the no, I don't think they're, <laughs> that good. they're a pretty good team. I, they would have trouble with North Texas. LSU is an eight seed. I have them as a nine, so that's not that bad. Um, Syracuse isn't that bad. He's got Indiana in there. Too. He's got he's got Rutgers as a five seed. That's not great either. But he's got some. He's, as a seven seed. he's got some good but stuff. At in the same here. time, he's got some good ones. He's got some guy like I'm Tennessee too low. Okay, five. I like Bama going pretty far. Um, yeah, so it's pretty good. But this Final Four, okay, I don't know how West Virginia is beating Gonzaga. I mean, they played. How Texas Tech's beating Ohio? State. I mean, they played each other in the regular season, and West Virginia actually had the lead for most of the game, but they lost. I just, I just don't think they would win. Texas Tech beat. I can see it, but ah, uh, not really. Virginia. Honestly, Virginia would struggle with USC. I'd pick USC. Michigan, of course. So West Virginia, te- he's th- he he constantly talks about how the Big Ten is so good. He has three Big Twelve teams. I'm questioning this Florida West Virginia matchup because we beat them. True. And then Texas, ah, I like Texas Tech as much as the next person. I just don't think they're good enough to make the championship game. He's Michigan winning it also. It's not great. We're gonna go to the subscriber one though. This is what the this is what you guys put. Now it might not be you specifically. This might I think this is just only like one person that made this. But we'll see. Okay. For starters, I don't know how the plans got to be twelve seeds and thirteen seeds. But we have a thirteen seed plan and a twelve seed plan. I don't know how that got to be there. Sorry for the logos being super, super stretched. Um, Toledo has a 13 seed. They, this person did put a first four out and a next four out here. I'm going to move my camera. I don't, I'll shoot. I screwed that up. Hold on. I'm going to move my camera just so. Okay. So they have St. John's, VCU, Seton Hall, and Utah State as their first four out. And they had Indiana, Stanford, Ole Miss, and Memphis as their next four out. I might add that to everyone's bracket. I might do that. We'll have to see. Um, but, yeah, they also have Oklahoma State in here. They also – this person has the exact same Final Four as me. Gonzaga, Florida State, Baylor, and Illinois. So that was pretty interesting. And then they have Illinois beating Baylor. They have uh, they have Gonzaga beating Florida State. And they have Illinois taking home the chip. So very, very interesting. Breaks. The link to this document will be in the description, and you can basically edit whatever you want. All I ask is you can meme if you want. Just don't, like, delete everything and ruin the fun for everyone. You can, like, put UMBC as a what. I don't care. Just don't just don't try to, like, ruin it for everyone. Like, you can meme. Just don't take it too far. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, those are our updated brackets. Oh, by the way, I put a po- uh, As for the poll um, of who everyone thought had the best bracket, I dominated. I had 70% of the vote. Vince, Vince was bad. He like only got 7%. I thought he had the next, a lot of people, there were some people in the comments that were like, I thought Vince had the next best one, but he only got like 7% of the vote. Um, it was like, Wellman got like 13, Murray got like 15 and Vince got like five. I mean, it was bad, but I hope you guys enjoy. I'm not going to put a poll up this time because I mean, come on, but I hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you next Monday for Bracketology again.